What is up, beautiful babies? Yes, I'm trying to remove any yucky stuff. Blackheads, what a whiteheads from my nose. But I'm also, I also have Taika eating, which is good, because then he's like, what's the right word? I'm gonna say he's restrained. Kind of is. He's on a leash, is that better? I'm just kidding. Um, but he's like locked the F down. Excuse me, are you eating? Can you eat, please? Yeah. Come. Thank you. He's got Mickey Mouse watching him eat. So while he's eating, or eating, I have to remind him every few minutes. Um, I'm over here. You see the blue pillows are out. When the blue pillows are out, just know that we have a showing. Yes, in yesterday's vlog, I told you we have an offer, a potential buyer. And we're gonna start that whole process, but because people can, like finances cannot plan out or Details just don't pan out so people can drop out. You don't wanna just bank on the first offer. You wanna get multiple offers if possible. And then you can kind of start a bidding more like, oh, this guy's this much, this guy's this much. And then they start kind of bidding, outbidding or trying to outbid. So trying to get the house ready for that because we do have a showing today. Um, trying to clean my room. We never open these windows because it it's, this is right here on this side is like a public walkway. It's not supposed to be a public walkway. They're about to install a fence. It's supposed to be private within the community, but for now, we don't have the fence. It's coming in in a couple months. But yeah, people from the next city over, they walk, because it's like the nice little trail. So that's why we've never opened these guys. But for showing, we want everything to look bright and big. And this is a big room. Like, here we go. You know, like it's, it's a pretty, pretty big room. So we just want it to look super, super bright and really nice. So I'm gonna do the bed. Yes, I'm only gonna use one blanket because if you know Bart and I, we have to use two blankets. Um, so I'm keeping mine because mine looks way more presentable. I'm gonna remove everything that's personal. Like even taking out the trash out of the trash cans. These right here don't belong to us. This is rented furniture, specifically for these showings. But it's something about the way that they were hung up here. Okay, so they're hung up here, right? The air vents there, our community, or at least our city has been really, really cold because as you can see over here, we have the mountains. So it gets really cold at night. So we sleep with the heater on, the vent is there, wind blows out this way, wind hits these motherfuckers and they just start making like, they just rattle a little bit like. And we hate it. So we have to take it off and every viewing we have to put them back up. The freaking noisiest frames you'll ever get. What brand is that? So I'll buy that brand. Just kidding, it has nothing to do with the brand. Um, woo, it is hot. But yeah, just wanna get everything showroom ready with personal items, if that makes sense. So like even things like this, I tried to hide because it just looks so sloppy. That, like toothbrushes hide. Um, unfortunately, like that I'll probably put away, fix that, I'm gonna wipe this glass down because it I mean it has some hard water stains even though you can't really tell from this let me see can you see here no but trust me they're there wipe down all the mirrors all the surfaces like here you can kind of see that it has like a little bit of toothpaste or something clean that taika's calling me yes baby taika get rid of that what what you want to eat an apple? Yeah. Okay. Be right back. He wants an apple. All right. So took off the nose strap. That's always so fascinating to look at. Right now I'm with mom and Taika in the back. I, I, I wish you boop it. And yes, this is what it is. So we were wiping our hands because we want to be sanitary and as COVID free as possible. So we're wiping his hands. I was out here getting some 85 degrees. And when I came back, this was on my seat, and he goes, ha ha, whoa, don't put that in my face. He goes, I got your butt butt wet. But if you guys haven't gone 85 degrees, please go to 85 degrees. I don't know why it's so popular right now. Is it because maybe Super Bowl? When I was in there, there was no one there, but now all of a sudden there's like this long ass line. Okay, I went and I picked up some boba. So it's um, sea salt jasmine green tea. Get it. Oh, it is so good. And I picked up a little tart thingy. It's like a blueberry tart for mom, even though she said she didn't want it. You're welcome. And then I picked up 
this like um, hot dog bun thingy. I always loved eating it. Mommy and it. Mommy it. Yes, this is for you. Got that for Taika. And then I saw this one. I don't know what this one was. It was like a milk bun. So we're gonna try this out. Don't know what it is. Bread. It's bread, dude. Oh, don't drop it. All right, so I ripped it open, and it's a milk pudding on the inside. Oh, like it's your, really good. You want your butt butt? You want my butt butt? Yeah. Mm, this is yummy. It's like a milk bun. Ah, I wish I would have got the name for you guys, but flaky, not too sweet, perfect amount of sweetness for me. I I already don't like like American desserts because it's so so sweet i prefer an asian dessert because it's like half the sweetness i feel like it's just healthier even though it's not i just feel like it is okay so after 85 degrees <clears throat> then again Alrighty. so after 85 degrees we went to home goods because my mom needed to buy some stuff i've been on this like i'm not buying any furniture tip until we're out in vegas and we've moved everything because i it just doesn't make sense to me to load more stuff and pack more things. So I'm actually trying to minimize a lot of what we have now. And, if, and I'm like, if I haven't used it in a bit, I'm giving it away and I rather just, or selling it. Uh, and I rather just move and transport the least amount of stuff as possible. So when I went to Home Goods with my mom today, <laughs> I mean, I couldn't just walk away empty handed. Okay, so the thing that um, forced me, if you will, to buy some shit is the fact that we just moved offices for a barbell and now we all have our desks again and um, everything is still kind of packed in boxes and things are kind of everywhere. And I had already moved all of my stuff, you know, when COVID happened, I moved all of my stuff from that office over to this office and I'm currently using it right now. And since I'm kind of back, uh, bouncing back and forth between both this office and then the one now at Barbell, I can no longer show this stuff. So I have to buy two of everything. So there were some items that I needed that I picked up. So let's go for it, yeah? So first thing first, I needed a trash can and I saw this one and my desk has like a little gold accent on it. So I thought, why not? It's 10 bucks. Not sure if it's worth the price, but I, think, I mean, I think that's good. 10 bucks I think is good. What am I talking about? And then I got this thing that I thought was really cool. You can put post-it notes here, little trinkets or paper clips or whatever, and then just another whatever. And I thought that was really cool. Eight bucks. This is a complete waste of money, absolutely. But it's just so pretty, Seven, 17 bucks. I don't know what I'm gonna put in here or why I even bought it other than the fact that I like it. And it's absolutely useless. But look at that, isn't that cool? Maybe I'll hide some drugs in here or something. Just kidding. Okay, so the next thing I got, this one's actually for Bart. So it's a stand. Maybe this is not the best picture. Here we go. Yeah, so it's a little stand. And then there's another stand that tucks underneath the first stand. So it's like a papa stand and then a mama stand. And then Bart could put his, um, his, what is this called? Keyboard. Yeah, because um, we just have one laptop because we don't do that crazy amount of work where we need a desktop. So we just have our laptop that we kind of just bring with us everywhere. Um, so we do have like a laptop stand. Wait a minute. Okay, hold on. Take a one of pizza. So take a good pizza. I got him some Trader Joe's. And he seems to like it. So I'll let him have a cool little treat. Yep, I don't put anything on there. That's probably the worst decision ever. But I'm full of those and I'm used to my bad decisions. So why change anything now, right? All right, Google users, get ready. Put the volume up, ready? Hey Google, set a timer for 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes, starting now. Yep, okay, going back to this. Yeah, so since we take our laptops with us everywhere, we just bought a laptop stand and then another monitor so we can have dual monitors. And um, yeah, we just have an extra mouse, extra keyboard, and when we leave the office, we bring all of our belongings with us, AKA the laptop. And then when we go back, we bring it and then we just plug it right in. So we just always have a nice little setup. So I thought this would be good for Bart. Not sure if he's gonna like it or hate it or if he already bought himself one, but I just wanted to be a good wife, you know? I don't know. Okay, so Taika being Taika wanted this, it's candy. 
I have nothing else to tell you. It contains 33 milk chocolate game pieces, one board game, four pawns, one trophy. That's it. How much was this? Eight dollars! Sorry, dude. I scared Tyka. Okay, and then he wanted... He knew that this was a birdie and I was really impressed. So that's the only reason why I allowed him to get this game. Because he knew it was a birdie. And he actually reminded me that it was a birdie. So, he gets to play with this. It's two games in one. Seven. This is cheaper than this crap. Hold on. Oh yeah, I got that. And the last thing I bought for myself, I'm not even sure if these are individual pages or whatever, but I'd like to see my schedule at a glance. And I thought this was really, really cool. So I don't know how it works anymore that I look at it. I'm like, why are there hours? So maybe per day I would write things, but then that doesn't make sense because then I have to fill this up. I don't know, I'll figure it out. But I think this was really cool, this concept. I should have, wow, I'm questioning my purchase. Hopefully it turns out good. If not, it's a $7 loss, which is still cheaper than this crap. Up. Okay, anyway, so then after Home Goods, we went to Trader Joe's and let me show you what I got. I never know what to buy at Trader Joe's, and I always see these really cool lists or just these things that people buy, and I'm like, I'm gonna get that. But right now, since I'm dieting, I'm like, I can't get a lot of it, so this is the best that I could do. Okay, first thing first, Branzino. If you've never had Branzino fish, you are missing out on life. If you love that fishy flavor, don't get it. If you hate that fishy flavor, we're talking now, okay? We're talking. Um, Branzino is so good. If you ever see it at a restaurant, please order it. You won't regret it. So Branzino, had to get it when I saw it. Don't know how I'm gonna prepare it, but I'm sure I can find something online. Taika loves these. If you guys don't know, they're literally this size. Like, they're tiny. So I, he like likes eating dessert at night. I think I'm guilty for putting him on that because I love eating something sweet after it, after dinner. So if he's not eating fruit, which he's never really eating fruit because fuck, I spoiled him already. Anyway, um, maybe I'll do one day off, one day off. Anyway, um, I thought this was like the best alternative because it's so small and he likes dessert at the end of his meal. Then I reward him with a mini ice cream cone. I got him one in vanilla and then one in chocolate chip. And when I mean him, I also mean his dad because I'm not a fan. I'd rather eat a acai bowl than, than ice cream. You feel me? Okay, then I saw roasted garlic. Anytime I see garlic, I'm like, take all my money. I love garlic. So I saw garlic, roasted garlic marinara, and I was like, duh, no brainer. How to get that. And then again, because we are dieting, I think this is just a cool little way to just get a quick bite in. And yeah, zero, oh, it's okay, 0.5 grams of fat per serving. Not mad at that. 22 grams of protein, bro. How many carbs? Zero carbs. That's why I bought it. So I got four of those, because who knows? I mean, they might not even be that tasty, so I didn't want to buy too many, but they were a dollar a pop, which I think is kind of expensive, but whatever. Um, so I got it. This right here, never tried them, but I saw that they were air popped. And since I'm a grazer, I love to snack. Um, this is a really good snack because it says 130 calories per serving, which is really, really good. Let's look at the fat, four grams of fat, not too crazy, three grams of protein. Not the best macros, but if I'm craving a snack, then I'd rather go to this or some fruit, then I don't know, get a bag of chips or something. Speaking of a bag of chips, I did fuck up though. Not too bad, but kind of bad. These boys, these are fire. What are the other versions? Oh, Cause I don't like those. There's this other Mexican brand. Oh. I can't remember what they're called, but they're rolled up chips like this too, but they're so hard. And they're actually really, really spicy for me. So I don't like those. This is, the less hard, super crunchy, super limey with a hit of chili version that I like. So here we go. If you see them, grab them, thank me later. Or thank me now, up to you. Um, I got Taika some lollipops. These are really cool. Zero everything, not bad. I mean, minus the carbs, but that's expected. 
And then, damn, I kind of get him a bunch of crap. Okay, he also wanted these. And I thought it said Barton, and that's the only reason why I wanted to get it. It was close enough. Baton. Baton. Um, where's the other one? And then I got some salsa, because we're eating a lot of plain food. This is zero everything minus the carbs. Um, that I like adding sauces or any like seasoning to the food, you know? Okay, saw these, thought they were really, really cool. Not sure how much they were, but I'm sure they were too expensive. So I don't even want to look at it because I already regret this purchase. So I don't want to just, I don't want to cry tonight, you know? So I'm not even going to tell you how much this was because I don't even want to look. But the reason why I got it was because they're so tiny. And avocados are super, super fatty. Yes, it's a good fat, but when you're trying to cut down on calories because you're trying to lose weight, um, and build more muscle, then you don't really want too much fat. So I just opted for these smaller avocados because then I, at least I can control the amount of fat that I'm putting in my body. I know I can do that with a bigger avocado, but if you know anything about avocados, because I know a lot about avocados, not really. But the thing I do know is the fact that as soon as you open it, you have to consume it or else, yes, you can add lime to it and it will prolong it just a little bit, but the they die so fast. You know what I mean? You leave an avocado out for an hour, that fool is like the opposite of Benjamin Button. What's something that ages really fast? I don't know what else to compare it to other than a freaking avocado because banana? They're a banana. <laughs> the avocado's an, a, a, a freaking banana. They age too damn fast. Anyway, and then I got Taika, his fave, watermelon. What else did I get? Uh, aioli garlic mustard sauce. No clue how I'm gonna use this, but you already heard the key word, garlic. That's all I needed to hear. I said, here, take my money. Yeah, again, don't know what I'm doing with it. Oh, and that's it. That's all I bought. That's it, that's all I got. Oh my God, and right now my video is at 11.11. You guys, I keep seeing 11.11 everywhere, or repeated numbers everywhere at least 10 times a day. At least 10 times a day. If it's not 11.11, then I'm seeing 222 or 333 or 3333 or 444. I see these numbers all the time, all the time. What does it mean? I see it everywhere and I don't even want to see it ever, but I do. And I hear that they're angel numbers. I hear that they're nothing but good things. So Taika had a great idea. What's your idea? Okay, say it again because you said it too fast. Look over, look in the camera, dude. What did you want to do? I want, I want, I want lava, I want to wash lava, I want popcorn, I want to... He likes looking at his reflection if you can't tell. So what he says is he wants to watch a movie, aka Lava, um, on Disney Plus, I think. And he wants to make popcorn and he wants to turn on the lights. Right? That's what you want to do? Yeah. Okay, so he already made the popcorn. So now we got to open the bag. It's big. Yeah, here, hold on. Smells. Here, we gotta shake the bag like this so all the butter it's gets on everything. It's so hot. No, it's not that hot anymore. It's just warm. No, no it's hot. Here. You're gonna hold the bowl or do you wanna pour out the popcorn? Which one do you wanna do? I wanna hold the bowl. Okay, come yeah. here. We got fresh it. Ooh, it's hot. Just kidding. There's your popcorn. Whoa, look at all that butter. Okay, now what are we gonna do next? Turn off the lights, okay? I love this, I love that he has all these ideas now. Oh, and the big blanket too? Do you want your blanket, your little blanket? Okay, let me turn down the lights. Where's that? Is that okay? No. More? Do you want it off? Yes. Like this? Yes. Okay, what about that light over there? Leave it on? Yeah. Okay, good. Cause I'm kind of scared of the dark. <laughs> yeah, are you happy? Yeah. Mama's gonna drink some tea. Taika's gonna enjoy his popcorn. And where's your water? Water's right there. Oh, here you can put it here on the tray. That's pineapple juice. Yo, pineapple juice. Agua de piña. Say it. Agua de piña. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna watch lava. And we'll talk to you when Bart gets here. He's missing out. I know. Come in. 
We hear someone outside. Papa has no clue what we're doing. Ah, Mia! Whoa! Are you guys having movie night? Yeah, this was Taika's idea. Oh, Kimmy! Yeah, he wanted me to turn off the lights, this make some popcorn. That's the cutest thing <laughs> I know. in the world. And he wanted to watch Aww. Lava. Oh, you're cute. He wants to watch a short film. Yeah. You're a cutie. You're a cutie. Lava is only like 20 minutes long. You're it's such a cutie. short little. Yeah, I think it's like five minutes long, to be honest. Oh, is it? Okay, maybe oh, like 10 minutes. Eight minutes. Oh, Jesus. Not even 20 minutes. Yeah, eight minutes. Cutie pie. Can Papa turn on the light? No. I, I thought you don't want to watch the movie anymore. I thought you want to play. No, no, no. Did you guys um, eat already or not? Yeah. Okay, good. Why? Oh, because I'm not going to eat dinner. Oh, 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 that means you ate something bad. Well, I, uh... I knew it. Well, I ate a burrito. Okay. All meat, so it's not that bad. Okay. But then I did get a Fanta, and I thought I was just going to get it just to sip and kind of eat with it. I ended up drinking the whole thing. How so big, delicious. how big was it? This big. Oh! <laughs> so I'm like, I am not dinner. Okay. How did that feel? That's a lot of calories. All right, I don't know if you guys can hear them, but there's Taika and Papa. They're going to take a quick shower. So as they take a quick shower, I'm going to do a quick little row session. Absolutely in love with this rower. Hydro, been using it a lot these days. I have a subscription. So think about it as like a Peloton version of a rower because you can have classes, have instructors, big old community. So I've been loving it. Um, just going to do a quick cardio session, close out the night. Get my, what the heck? Get my, all my fitness stuff on lock. I like closing my rings. I think I'm addicted to closing my rings, which is a pretty cool addiction, but I don't get addicted to anything, so I'm not addicted, other than candy. All right, so my row is done. 30 minutes. What are these guys doing? Uh-huh. As I suspected. What? Doing nothing at all. All right. Tyke is bothered. Putting the camera away. What are you going to do now, monkey? It's to my baby. Why does your papa keep putting on the white socks when you're just going to be walking all over the house? No, those are his sleeping socks, right? They're not his sleeping socks. The white socks are for him to wear out. Because he's just going to walk and they're going to look like my mom, like this. Look at how dirty and disgusting my socks look. Socks cool. No. You're disgusting, man. He's sleeping. He's sleeping. He's not sweating in them and running. No. Right? No. Yeah, you're not running in them. <laughs> what, is your, what does it smell like? Blue cheese. Blue cheese? <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> Gakis my blue cheese. Gaki bushy? <laughs> yeah. Gakis. Gaki. Blue cheese. <laughs> Gakis blue cheese. <laughs> okay, say everyone good night. Oh, are you okay? <laughs> Did that hurt? <laughs> Alright, you heard it from the young tykes. Adiós.